The Print Trace project afforded us the opportunity to use 3D printed parts out of the MJF in a production setting. This is a Apple labeling machine. Pass it underneath the conveyor and the machine actually puts the labels on the apples. We put two and two together and just said, we can make production parts for this using this 3D printer. Instead of using a plastic injection molding process, we ended up making roughly 12 of the parts in there out of a 3D printing process. At least one of the rollers was already designed for injection molding and we backed out of that and decided to go with the MJF instead, but we just left the design as is. Some of the pulleys within the machine are 3D printed. There's actually some vacuum fittings in there that were 3D printed. This part has a little channel that runs through it, which you couldn't machine, so in order for these parts to be made, we had to print them. And that afforded us the ability to make what was an expensive machined part on the MJF, and so that saved money right out of the gate. If you're designing for injection molding, you have a certain number of constraints you have to consider in that design process. For any 3D printing, a lot of those constraints are removed, but for the MJF, you have the confidence of knowing that the material properties are nearly matching injection molded parts, and so that is a big plus. The client was very happy with this. Uh, he was super impressed with how the 3D parts turned out. The machine operates really well. These are definitely the most mechanically sound parts that I've ever used from a 3D printer.